The metaverse is an ever-present spatial internet complete with personalized digital experiences that span the physical and virtual worlds, where everything and everyone can communicate and interact seamlessly. Qualcomm Technologies is enabling the metaverse with cutting-edge research and industry-leading products. In this video, you will see how our advanced wireless research is enabling boundless AR, cloud gaming, and new sensing capabilities. At Qualcomm Technologies, we are focusing on research and commercialization of new 5G use cases such as Boundless AR. Boundless AR uses split rendering to distribute the computation between the server and the device to deliver truly immersive and enhanced AR experiences. While the long-term vision to the metaverse is a 5G-powered AR glasses that connect directly to the cloud, a near-term solution are Wi-Fi-powered AR glasses that communicate to the cloud via a 5G-enabled phone or laptop. In this demo, we showcase our optimizations on a prototype boundless AR system, where the AR glasses communicate with the phone over Wi-Fi and the phone communicates with the server over 5G. The pose information and video from the user flows from the glasses to the phone to the server. The server processes the data and sends back the encoded graphics via the phone to be displayed onto the glasses. The round trip time for this entire process is called motion to render the photon latency or M2R2P. The 5G and Wi-Fi round trip times are key components of M2R2P. High 5G and Wi-Fi round trip times due to challenging radio conditions can lead to poor user experience. Our test system runs emulated boundless AR traffic over a 5G sub-6 gigahertz test network and Wi-Fi 6. In this example, an AR user is at the far cell location with the phone in their back pocket. The AR glass is undergoing yaw and pitch motion as the user looks around to observe the surroundings. Our optimization help reduce the 5G and Wi-Fi round trip times by more than 28% on average and more than 38% at the tail, providing an improved user experience. Additional gains are expected in more challenging pedestrian and vehicular mobility scenarios. With our system level optimizations, we are enabling truly immersive boundless AR experiences over Wi-Fi and 5G. This is just the start. We are continuously innovating to enable new and improved AR experiences we're making the metaverse a reality. Five G cloud gaming uses computing power from cloud servers to deliver rich interactive digital experience to users anywhere over five G, a key component to enabling the metaverse. For good user experience, it is important to minimize the latency from user input to on screen action. This is also referred to as controller to render to photon latency or C2R2P. 5G round trip time is a critical component of C2R2P. A high 5G round trip time due to challenging radio conditions can lead to poor user experience. We now show the latency performance of a 5G device inside a moving vehicle in our outdoor 5G sub 6 gigahertz system. We can see that the baseline 5G system with our over on device optimizations see significant latency spikes. Our on device optimizations significantly reduce the latency spikes, resulting in responsive and smooth gaming experience. Overall, our on device optimizations can be seen to achieve 5G round trip time tail latency improvements of 32%. Gains can be larger in more challenging network and RF scenarios. Another key issue that impacts the user experience today is that applications are unable to rapidly adapt bitrate and resolution to the changing cellular network and RF environment. We have developed the 5G AI API for gaming, which helps applications dynamically adapt to the radio and network conditions to deliver the best user experience. We can clearly see that with our API, the gameplay no longer stutters when the radio condition changes quickly. To summarize, with our optimizations, gamers experience a smooth video with better image quality and lower frame drop rate 
in addition to responsive gameplay. We are continuously improving our on-device features to deliver rich interactive digital experience for the metaverse. Understanding the physical world is a key requirement for the metaverse and at the Qualcomm technologies. We are leveraging our wireless expertise and experience to help accomplish that. In this demonstration, we will show how 5G minimum wave deployed for wireless communications can be utilized for object sensing. Please note, the object that is being detected is device-free with no ability to communicate over 5G. It could be a person or, or even a large rock as in our physical environment. Here is a system simulation environment where we have one Genovi and three remote radio heads operating in 28 gigahertz band. We also have a groups of minimum wave devices that are scattered in the test area. We call this corporate sensing as both network and device are working together to determine the location of the device-free object. The system utilizes both 5G positioning techniques like a downing angle of departure or time difference of arrive to determine the location of the 5G device and RF sensing to determine the location of the device-free object. In a simulation, we have an object placed on the grass lawn. Through cooperative sensing, we are able to sense the surface of the object as indicated by the blue dots. Combining the dots allowed us to reconstruct the shape of the object. We can also see the average distance arrow to object surface, denoting the accuracy performance of our 5G RF sensing simulation. And with more RH participate in cooperative sensing, the better the sensing accuracy. In conclusion, 5G not only delivers wireless communication, but also provides a better understanding of the physical world to seamlessly merge in with the digital and the virtual worlds, making the metaverse a reality in our future. As we saw in previous demonstrations, the role of wireless in enabling the metaverse expands beyond data communication. That is why we are evolving the connected intelligent edge powered by 5G, edge cloud, and on-device AI to optimize the performance of secure non-data services. They can bring enhanced metaverse experiences, and some example areas include precise positioning, relative ranging, timing resiliency, and a few others. Many of this can be enabled with 5G as part of the ongoing 5G technology evolution. To support these services, there are multiple system architecture options. First, with a device-only model, the device can independently support the service without interacting with the network. Another model is for the device and the network to jointly collect and process data to support the service. In this case, either the network or the device can take the leading role, while the other assists. An example is 5G precise positioning, where the device can measure the positioning reference signals and the computation can be done on the device or in the network. To optimize the system for non-data services, we can develop new interfaces or APIs across the cloud, network, and device platform. This can facilitate efficient horizontal scaling, providing new entrants with fair level playing field with the larger vertical players. We believe a hybrid cloud and device platform can offer the most flexibility for meeting diverse service requirements. In most cases, there is a service orchestration trade-off that needs to be made. If service hosting is predominantly in the cloud or the network, the on-device value that can be derived would be mostly from connectivity, while the on-device value is mostly derived from compute when the service hosting is on-device. In conclusion, this is an area of our longer-term research, and we're exploring ways to design an enhanced and flexible platform that allows dynamic model selection that optimizes for the use case.